Hi everybody, it's the first week of February. It's snowing a little bit right now. We had to wait for the boat to unfreeze from the trailer so we could launch. But we're gonna go do some walleye fishing. Me and Mabel and Hazer over there are gonna go see if we can catch some big walleye today. The water temperature is 37 degrees. We're gonna be fishing in 40 to 60 feet of water. We're gonna go over to a spot where we've had a lot of success this fall and winter. See if the fish are still there, if we can find them. The water temperature, or excuse me, the water level has dropped a couple feet in the last couple days. So hopefully the fish are feeling the flow of the current and they're gonna be moving, gearing up, getting ready for spring. Um, we're gonna be using Columbia River Tackle blade baits today. We have, uh, some three quarter ounce and half ounce blade baits. Uh, I think it's overcast today, so I think we're gonna try some chartreuse here to start the day. That's a half ounce Columbia River Tackle blade bait with the chartreuse tape on it. Throwing a hook. Our blade bait here into the middle hole. Hopefully, you can see that. Hopefully. That should put a good vibration in the water down there and attract some fish push those lateral lines you can see that flash and that vibration oh this is a heavy one this feels like a good fish that was the first cast he's really pulling hard he's definitely got some weight to him Oh, that is a nice walleye. Oh, I hope you guys can see that. This is our first cast. I'm gonna grab the net. That is a big female. That is a big fish. <laughs> that is what it's all about right there. Oh man, he's heavy. All right. That is a good fish. Oh, yeah. Grab the pliers. We'll get a quick measurement on him. And grab the, the scale. That was our first cast. It wasn't. <laughs> Hook came out nice and easy. What a beautiful fish. So we're gonna measure him, or her, excuse me, and get her right back in the water. He's about 29 inches. So I'm gonna zero out our scale. I really hope you guys can see this. There you go, 10, 10.4, 10, 8. That is a beautiful, beautiful female walleye. I 
All right, I'm gonna let her get back in the water here. So there she goes. So how I like to fish a blade bait, make cast, let it sink down to the bottom. I like to think of it as a flutter glide. Like you want to feel the flutter, feel the two or three three vibrations that the bait's going to make as you lift it up off the bottom and you want to hold it on a tight line and let it glide back down to the bottom usually on the glide is when you're going to get a bite and you're going to feel the weight of that fish sometimes they're going to hit it really hard sometimes you'll feel just the weight of the fish on the lift so you want to if you think of it as a clock face you want to have your rod at about 10 o'clock you reel down tight line and a lift up to about 11 o'clock. You feel that two or three flutters and then let it glide back down to the bottom on a tight line. Most of the time you're gonna feel that fish as it's gliding back down to the bottom. So you wanna go from 10 and lift up to 11, feel those two or three flutters. You wanna get that vibration in the water and you wanna let it glide back down to the bottom on a tight line. And you're gonna feel that bite when it's gliding back down to the bottom. There's a fish. That one hit it on the drop. I switched over to a silver blade bait, just a straight silver, and Got one on the first cast. Ooh, he's taking drag. He's another nice walleye. It's probably a little over five pounds. This one's 5'8". Nice fish. I'm gonna let her go. There she goes. You can see out behind me here, there's ice on the water. And if you turn around back over here, you can see there's more ice flowing down this way towards us. The creek that feeds Lake Roosevelt is back there and you can see where that creek comes in right over here. It is all iced up. It's probably 10 feet deep, 15 feet deep back there. So you, as you can see the, the ice is flowing out here with the current and you can see it's making its way. It comes out, gets to the edge of that drop off and turns the corner and starts heading down this way. You can see there's a steady line of ice all the way down behind me here and that is where those fish are setting up because the current is bringing food right by them so you can see this is right where we're catching them is where this ice flow is oh oh this one feels big This feels like a good fish.
another nice fish. It's probably about five pounds, give or take. It's a nice fish. Put up a good fight. This is a better fish. This is a good one, I think. This might be in the 10 pound range. Oh, baby. That's a big fish. Oh, oh, oh. oh yes. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Holy cow. Oh my god. <laughs> that is the biggest fish in my life. The biggest walleye in my life. Holy cow. <laughs> that is the biggest fish I've ever biggest walleye I've, I've, I've ever caught. We'll get a weight on him, on her. She's 12.1. That is a big walleye. <laughs> oh, I thought maybe that was going to be in teens. Big fish. That is my personal best. That is a lot of fun.